welcome to episode three of Goo TV. I'm here today with Brian Vaughn, our CEO, and we're going to talk about a topic that's very important to us, balancing your work life with a very busy training schedule. Brian, I've seen you train for La Ruta, Leadville, Trans Andes. You have three children, you're CEO here at Goo. How do you balance all of that? Well, it's not easy, but I think what you do is you first start with building training into what you're already doing. I mean, take the bike commute or a run commute. You can figure out a way to get to, to work and not get all sweaty. And on the way home, you might look for a more adventurous approach where you're throwing in some intervals, you're going through a hill climb, it's a great way to end the day, and you're building fitness into a commute that you already otherwise do. Another thing I like to do is to um, buy local now walk or ride your bike to pick up groceries or to have a meal. So lastly, when I spend time with my family, I like to do something active. It's much better than spending time in front of the screen. That sounds like a good step towards something we hear a lot about, which is maintaining baseline fitness. Absolutely. You never want to get out of shape. You always want to be able to be engaged some way, uh, whether it's running and hiking or swimming and cycling. Where do you go from there with your training when you have a race goal on the horizon? Well, it's important to get a training plan that matches with that race. Uh, there are times where you have to do a defined set of uh, deep, intense training. And the idea there is um, to balance it against a period of rest so that you're gaining the adaptations that you're looking for from your training. So I find that taking three to five days of intense training will take that baseline fitness to a whole new level. So speaking of taking your fitness to the next level, I started working with a coach for the first time in my cycling career this year, and he gave me a very structured plan to follow. So unlike years past where I was doing lots of quantity, this year I was doing more quality miles, like intervals, hill repeats, where he would have me working within specific power zones, staying there for five minutes, stopping back at that power zone for five minutes again. And when the results started coming in, I found that very motivating. So I'm wondering what helps keep you motivated? It's pretty simple. You know, I keep things on my calendar and I would choose events that I know I can train for. So um, every three to four months, I might have uh, an event that uh, is a bit interesting. It could be a gravel road race, it could be um, a bit of an adventure race, but the idea is to keep some excitement out there. We all know that balancing a career, a family, and training is tough, but it sounds like you have it pretty dialed. So I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with us. And thank you for watching Goo TV. Be sure to tune in next time.